Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering, Monica, what the heck are you doing back in your room? What happened to your beauty room? Well, today's video is going to be a declutter video and I have my vanity in my room still. It's not in my beauty room because I didn't want to move anything and I figured that I would be getting ready more here in my room more than the beauty room and I use that mainly to film and stuff. So I'm going to be doing, I think, a part one and a part two because there is like one side and another side of my vanity and I want to not make this video 10 years long so I think I'm going to do one side first. So if you guys want to see my declutter mess and these drawers are a mess at the moment and they need to be cleaned. Now if you guys want to see my declutter mess then please keep watching. So this is the first drawer and as you can see the camera doesn't get everything but this is my brows, concealer, eyeliner, and mascara drawer. I have no order of why I put this stuff here. If you saw my um, Vanity Tour collection, makeup collection video that I did, I'll have it linked down below. But I have hoarded some brow products, mascaras, eyeliners, and concealers. They've just stayed here. They never got thrown away, and I need to get rid of them. I'll start with my concealers, and I can't really remove my drawers out because I've taped them together so they don't move around. So in the first compartment, it's all my concealers. Now a person does not need all these concealers, and I do not. So let's just keep the things that I like and I use constantly and the newer things and then throw away the ones that just need to bye bye get rid of so the first concealer is this master conceal so i need to throw that away i'm using my mom's trader joe reusable bags um, my nars i'm keeping my tart shape tape my la girl pro concealer i'm keeping i love my elf this is a really good concealer this concealer from wet n wild is also good i need to get rid of this cover girl like stick concealer it's the true blend fix stick i don't think i use this i don't remember why i even bought this so and i know this is really old so bye bye <laughs> another one that is so old and looks so beat up is this coastal sense one that i don't even remember when i got this i think it's when makeup started becoming an interest to me and i loved it and i started buying things and coastal sense was one of the brands that i first started buying this needs to go i know it's super old it's probably since high school which is 2012 yeah i know and better skin i still have a little bit left that one's pretty recent my fit me is pretty recent this is one that i got for the dollar shop missa and i used it and it was all right but i don't ever reach for it so i'm going to give that one away this was another one that i bought from shop missa and i think i used it a couple times i can tell but i'm going to give that away as well and this is la girl pro concealer this is literally gone there's barely anything left so i'm going to throw that away and I don't know why I let you throw this, this wet and wild one away. I know I love it, but I know it's like that's how much is left is a tiny bit. So maybe I'll use it up. And this is the next Wonder Stick Highlight and Contour. I don't even think I use this anymore after I did like a one brand tutorial. I don't know. Maybe. I'll see if my sister wants that. Moving on to my brows. Um, I have a quite a bit different products in here. I have this e.l.f. product. Fun fact, this is what I first used when I did my makeup and started doing my brows. I bought an e.l.f. brow like duo and I loved it. And this one's actually new, so I'm going to keep that. This is High Brow from Benefit. I don't even use it. I know it's new, so I'm going to... I've just like used it a couple times, so I'm going to give that away. Milani Brow Fix, I know that works well and it's new. My favorite LA Girl Brow Pencil, that's bomb. My brow brush, my Milani brow wax that I like, my concealer brow brush. This is my ColourPop brow pencil. This is my Milani brow gel, my Benefit High Brow, my Anastasia Look How Disgusting This Is brow gel needs to be thrown away. That's when I used to do my brows red or like auburn color because I had red hair. I thought I had to have red brows. Yeah, bad decision. This is my Ulta High Tint or Brow Tint Light. I don't even have light eyebrows, so I need to give that away. This one, I think I tried. This is from the Shop Missé. I hated it. Bye bye. Ofra Eyebrow Universal, I think. Um, I don't use this ever. 
so I'm going to give that away. My e.l.f. pomade, I know I like this too. This is a Shop Misse brow powder I love. This is an Anastasia brow powder, and I don't even do my brows this color anymore, so I'm going to give that away to somebody. And I know it's not super old. Next is my mascara. I know I need to get rid of some mascara, especially this one. I know I've used it. It's dried up, and... It's so old. It needs to go. Legendary Lengths Ulta. I don't use this. I know this was a year ago that I bought this because I started going to, or no, two years ago, that I started going to the Ulta near my school in Long Beach because there hasn't been an Ulta near me until one like showed up and they built it. But I went to that one every day after school, which was a bad decision, and I bought this and I don't ever use it. So bye bye. They're real. I know there's nothing in here. It's from Benefit. Bomb mascara, just nothing else. Uh, L'Oreal Telescopic. I don't remember if there's anything in here. Like, that's how you know, okay? Nothing is getting on my skin. So, bye-bye. I need a new one of that. And the rest of these mascaras. This is an old boxy charm that I need to get rid of. Mascara. I tried this Butter London. It's actually really new. I probably use it twice. And I hate it. So, someone else might love that. This roller lash, I don't remember if this is the new one or the old one that I had, but I know there is still some in here, so I'm going to keep that. I think my sister took my new one that she bought me that's in her vanity because I know she's never had that mascara. This is the Greater Than MD. I got this in a boxy charm. I know I can use it. And this is the e.l.f. mascara that's actually fairly new, so I'm going to keep that. Now, moving on to my eyeliner drawer. And I don't really wear all that much eyeliner, and I only go for the same ones. So, let me take out the ones that I like, that I know I like. So, it's like my Kat Von D, my NYX Liquid Liner, my Tarte. I love my Tarte Clay Paint. Oh, I love my ColourPop. Uh, like pop of colors. I can't forget my Tarte Smolder Eyes Balm for the summer. I love that. Now these other ones, I don't even know what they are because I do not use them. So I know this one's new. I've never even opened it. I've never tried it. This is a Tarte. It was like a sample size bronze clay paint liner. Maybe I'll try that out. This is a NARS one that I never even finished. It's really old and needs to bye bye. See you later. Go. This one is LA Colors Ultimate that I bought from Shop Miss A. Hated it. The wand was like super stiff. This was a Lord and Barry. I know this was um, BoxyCharm. Hated it. This is an LA Girls Mark My Eyes. Let's see. Okay. How dried out that is. Yeah. Bye bye. This is their real push up liner. I know these are new. I think I've only used the blue one and I don't even like the way they apply, but I know they're new, so I'll give them to somebody. And these two, I don't know why I bought these colors. It's Seafoam Green and Purple from NYX. And I used to wear these when I first started Instagram, like taking pictures and stuff. And you have to keep coloring to get pigment out of them. And they're pretty. They're just like. I'll never wear them. This is a Milani liquid liner. This stuff is so hard to get off. I use it a couple times and when it says 24 hour proof and it's like waterproof, yeah it is. But I hate it for that reason. This is an e.l.f. pencil. Ooh, that liner works bomb. This is e.l.f. I'm gonna keep that. This one is Essence eyeliner pen and this does not work so well. So bye bye. And that is it for the first drawer. No. Let's get to cleaning the rest. So next is my blush drawer. For as much as I do not wear blush, I have a lot of blush. And I don't know if I'm going to get rid of any, probably because I don't wear half of these. So let's start with this. This is the e.l.f. blush palette. And I know it works good. I just bought this not so long ago. And I just don't wear it. I don't reach for it. The one that I do need to get rid of is this one. This is the 10 blush palette palette from Coastal Sense and it's nice it works this sucker is super old very old so this needs to go oh this one for sure I don't even know what the label is it's true something I don't know what brand oh cover girl yeah I hated this when I first bought it and I could not return it so this needs to go and it's extremely old these are all my fairly new ones these are from shop USA I'm going to keep those these are my mini Too Faced and my Tarte mini ones as well. 
I'm going to keep those. I know those are new. This is an e.l.f. contouring and bronzing cream. I know these are new. I don't really reach for them. So I'm going to give them to somebody that will use it. These are all new as well. These are my Milani ones that I love. These are my benefit that I knew. I know they are new. These ones are NYX. Now I know this one is old. And I do not ever reach for this one. Even though it's a really pretty shade, I don't reach for it. So that needs to go. This is also an old one that needs to go bye-bye. I don't ever reach for this at all. This one, I know I don't reach for this. But it's just such a pretty shade. But I know I won't wear it. Get rid of it. These are my Wet n Wilds. I love my Wet n Wilds. These are the first blushes that I go towards. So... I'm going to keep those. Then it's my e.l.f. blushes. And I know I do not wear this. I know this is old as well. This is when I first got into makeup and I actually liked blushes. So bye-bye. That is way too old. This one is just old as well and I don't reach for it. It even has chunks in it. I don't know if you can tell. It just has like those just ridges in it. So it needs to go. These are my ColourPop. I know they're not expired, but I know that I've never used them because I hate how they go on the face and I don't like them. I don't like the squishy texture. It really bothers me and I just, I don't like it. So I'm going to get rid of all of these three. I know my sister or my cousin will get some use out of them. So next drawer is my bronzer drawer and highlight. And this is my favorite drawer. So I don't know if I can part with any of these things. I will try. This is honestly my favorite drawer, so we'll see if I get rid of things. Um, let's start back here. And some things that I don't use are this one that smells not so well. I don't like the smell of it. This is Physician's Formulas bronzer, and it's a nice bronzer. It just smells like old ladies. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't use it. But it's new, so I'll give it to somebody if they like the smell. This is Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I don't use this as well. I never reach for it. Back here, my Milani Bronzer. I like this. I'm going to keep this. My Sleek Makeup. It's new, so I'm going to keep this. My Hula Bronzer that I'm almost done with is here. My new Hula that's waiting to be used is right here as well. This is a new Sunny Bunny waiting to be used. This e.l.f. highlight that I've had for years and I keep it back here because I know I don't use it and it's literally like chalk now and it's just not good anymore so bye bye. This is my limited edition Soulmates Carry and Big because I really do like Sex in the City so I'm going to keep it this and this is Makeup Revolution's bronzer. This is fairly new as well so I'm going to keep that. Next is on the side is this e.l.f. bronzer that I don't use ever. I don't even remember having it and I can't even open it. it. needs to go. It's news. So maybe my cousin will like it. She's more fair skin. This is my Becca and Chrissy. I can't let go of this. Anastasia Glow. Who am I to let go of these? Shop Miss Day. I'm going to keep that. Colourpop Blush and Highlight Duo. I'm going to keep that. Let's move on to the first little tray that I have here. It has my Hourglass that I don't ever use but I paid 60 bucks for this so this is going to stay. This is my MAC Soft and Gentle Staple Ofra Blush Strips. Going to stay. This one sucks really bad. This is the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter. Not even going to bother opening it. Hate it. So it's new, but maybe someone who likes a subtle highlight will like it. This is my NYX Illuminator Balm. Super good. My Becca Champagne Pop. Going to keep that. This is my NARS Bronzer. Going to keep. Love. Tarte Pro To Go, going to keep, love that. Physicians Formula, I really don't reach for this ever. Let's get rid of it. I have other stuff. My Wet n Wild highlights. Oh, and Makeup Revolution, these are good. Next is ColourPop highlighters that I really do like. Their highlighters are something that I really enjoy. So I'm going to keep these. This is a Sephora highlighter that is just so subtle going to give away. I don't use it. My Artist Couture highlights that are blinding, literally blinding if you use these. Moving on to some bronzer. This is Bronzer Model Company, I think it's called. Shimmer powder. I know I got this in a boxy charm. It's not old. I just don't ever use it. This is a NYX Skin Smooth. This is old. This used to be one of my favorite bronzers when I first started makeup. 
but it's old so I need to throw it away. This is a Sun Glow Shimmer Bronzer. This is like the dollar thing that I got and so is this one. This one is pretty pigmented. I just don't wear it and this is too glittery for me. And it is new but I do not wear them. I'm doing good guys. I'm doing good. This is... You know what this is? This is an Avon bronzer that I had that I put in a MAC translucent powder, finishing powder container because my Avon one, Avon, okay? I don't know if anyone's heard of Avon, like beauty, when they had a line. Well, I used to have an Avon bronzer that worked so well. I loved it, and it's so freaking pigmented, and it's bomb. I just know this is ancient. This is literally probably when I was a junior in high school not college it needs to go <laughs> this is a bare minerals this is also old and i know it's old because i used to wear this in high school in junior year because i remember my like one of my ex best friends she used to love it and she said it would work bomb and it does i just don't ever reach for it i'm gonna try it just one more time i know it's old and when are you supposed to throw this away after a year, okay, maybe not. I won't try it. It just sucks to throw it away because I didn't use it all because I was so I'm so light and this is super pigmented that you don't need a lot. So I'm like, I never use the whole entire container. But I know this is I'm just gonna keep it because it's a memory from junior year. I, I promise I won't use it, but it's just a memory. These are ColourPop bronzers. Too light. I really don't like their bronzers and I don't ever use these so those can be given away. This is my chocolate Too Faced chocolate sunny bunny. I love those. And this is my milk chocolate Soleil that I really like. My new Bobbi Brown bronzer. And that looks so much better. Oh my gosh. Now, the next drawer is my lipstick drawer, but I already did a lipstick decluttering and I'm not going to part ways with anything else. And my last drawer is just skincare and stuff and that's all new. It's recent, so I don't have to throw anything away. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked my declutter first tower. I will do the second one very soon and I will have that uploaded for you guys, part two. This is four. So part two, I hope you guys enjoyed. And that is it for this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.